To the coronavirus pandemic, a COVID cluster in Provincetown has prompted town officials to reinstate an indoor mask mandate. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Christina Rex. At least 550 people have tested positive for the virus since the beginning of the month. WBZ's Nick Giovanni is in Boston with the latest. You know, our masks are still required while boarding and while inside. Before boarding the Provincetown Fast Ferry Monday morning, a line of P-Town bound passengers stopped to grab a mask along Long Wharf. Some brought their own. Others were handed one, which they would need again once they got to their next stop. It's been 15 months. It's all pretty normal now, so why not? With 551 confirmed cases now linked to the Provincetown cluster, an indoor mask mandate was adopted last night during an emergency meeting, effective immediately. COVID, unfortunately, and I think it's depressing for many of us, isn't going, in, going away anytime soon. And I think that Provincetown is experiencing what other places will, will be experiencing uh, earlier. Town manager Alex Morse says 53 specimens were sent for further testing and all 53 came back with a Delta variant detected. Some travelers who just got back from P-Town appreciated the precautions. Everyone just became a little more cautious and a little more aware. It definitely is alarming because it's, I, I knew several people that were positive who were vaccinated. Having to pack the masks for today's trip in response to the recent outbreak was met with mixed reactions. I think it's crazy. Yeah? Yeah, I don't. I hate wearing them. It's not that big of a deal to me. Everyone carries around their masks, yep, right? And then most places, when they require masks, they usually have extras on hand too. So I don't feel like it should change anything. If we have to wear masks, we'll wear it. We're, yeah. we're not going to fight it. According to the town manager, if the positivity rate drops below 3% for at least five days, the mandate will become an advisory. If it drops below 1% for at least five days, the advisory will be lifted. Reporting from Boston Harbor, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.